Welcome to Satisfactory Update 4. My name is Nilas so and this is episode 8 of our Let's Play. So we have many things to do and uh, not surprisingly when I... Is everything suddenly silent in game? Oh no, 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 there's a bit of sound. Okay, good. Um, here we have our little base. I like these displaced platforms. It is very deliberate that they're not exactly on top of each other because I think it looks better. And that you can sort of see them irregularly on top of each other. That one is just a mess. Right, so as I asked in the previous episode, then uh, on what do you want to do? Do you want uh, things that go boom or things that are convenient for a map? Then not surprisingly, the answer was things that go boom. Except, well, I actually think I can one-up you on that. Because if I look at the MAM research, the part that we want to explore the actual thing is that if we go to if we go to the quartz it's actually not much we need to do uh, we are going to just uh, scan the quartz it's out here it really isn't very much you need to do to get the map unlocked so we are going to manually unlock the map and then once we've done that we can proceed look at how far it is away like that 850 meters away that is not far from our coal so that's uh, pretty convenient so we can go there, just set up a small thing, and then from then on we can go focus on the on the, the things that go boom. So that'll be the big project for today, but we're going to start with a small side project. Because at this point there's nothing really we need for, for the quartz. We don't really need the ingredients here. You need it actually, you need it for lamps. And we want to do the lamps at some point, but not right now. So we are heading over here. We can see that the angle is changing and we'll need to jump down there shortly. I think we can see it now. We should be able to, uh, there it is. Just gonna ping it and see if, see that it's this one. Yep, that's the one. We are gonna go there and we are going to go, yeah, I think we'll uh, get some speed. And switch to that one. And that should give us uh, enough floatiness to get over there. Oh yeah, you probably need to get the slashy slashy because there's always uh, critters around here. Uh, I'll take this one. This is the closest one. I know there are some critters around. Ah, uh, they'll, they'll show themselves. They will show themselves. Alright, so what I need to do is just tap that one. So we're going to build a lot of sort of more things around here. We're building a nice, nice little base. We're going to build that one. We are going to build uh, an equipment workshop because we need to build some equipment. Uh, okay. I'll build it over here. That one. And we should also build a crafting bench because we need one of those. It uh, doesn't make a difference. Good. So we are ready. What we want to do now is let's get some portable miners. Let's get, uh, you know, four of those maybe because there are two mines and mark two miners. So if we put four of these down, then when we come back eventually to change it to something else, then that's going to be good. All right. So that will put. I'm just really looking at uh, listening to noises in the background because that will almost certainly be there. All right. So let's look at the mem. Oh. Ha 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 ha, this is perfect. So here I have uh, been out on some exploration runs and we have a few of these operational and this is just absolutely perfect timing because this is fine and that requires two sulfur and some compacted coal. Excellent, I'll take it. Boop. That means this is the recipe we actually want. So from here on, what we need is we need some quartz crystals so that means we are going to get some of these and we'll just uh, get some of this uh, what I want to do yeah let's just uh, pick up everything we have here that should be fine that one and here so we are going to go to our crafting bench and it'll be some hand crafting and miraculously that will be done in no time and like so it is done we are going to go back here uh, to this one and we are going to go on the quartz, take this, tap it for three seconds. We can endure that waiting time. There we go, crystal oscillator. We're gonna get the next one that takes five of these. I think we can easily do that, the crystal oscillator. So the thing is like we get the crystal oscillator, but we don't really have any, any real use for it. 
in 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 the sense that this doesn't get part of any recipes. Now this means that I can now get recipes that include crystal oscillator. So that's still a thing. And there, that's the five I need. I can then go back, start the next one and get that. It's also three seconds. And then I think I need a few more. Ta -da. And then the map here is 10 more plus some, some beacons. So we can make the 10 beacons. That is not a problem. 10 beacons. Let's make some of those. That's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There we go. And then I need to make some quartz. That means, again, more handcrafting of this one. I need ten of these. Okay, that's uh, going to make, uh, make another handcrafting cycle. And after another handcrafting cycle, we have suddenly all we need takes five minutes, but then we have our frequency mapping, which gives us our map. And at this point, we don't really need anything else. This is pretty simple. This is uh, this is the one we wanted here. We don't need the encased industrial beams for anything. I don't particularly like the Explorer. I think it's great to get from A to B, but beside that, I don't think it's particularly good. So what is it we need now? We need to unlock the black powder. And that means we need some coal, and then we need to find some sulfur, and we're gonna go down here and unlock a few more. So it is time for us to wrap things up at this location. There, I will go back to that location. Uh, I'm going to get this one in. I'm going to get that one so we can run. That one will be something. I hear the sparkly thing of something hidden underneath. And at this point, the reason I'm going to this location is actually because I want some coal coal and actually that's a bit surprising that I didn't there that is 100 coal is that enough for what I want mm. yeah well maybe kind of you know ish let me just let me just think if this is enough uh, let's get 200 let's get 200 of these I think that's uh, much easier just to get 200 because that's just gonna allow me to handcraft all of the stuff I need in order to unlock a few more researches here. And this one should be close to, uh, let's just do that one, this should be here, there we go. And you go back, good, we got what we needed. Now at this point we should be scanning for sulfur. And actually I think it's much easier if I'm up here and scan for the sulfur up top. So let's go up top and then we can scan for the sulfur and scan for the coal so we know what the locations are. And then we can start planning out how we want to bring it home. And this is again one of those uh, issues where, or questions, and it's more of a design parameter than there's anything else. Is where do I want to build things? The obvious logical thing would be build it out here because then it's close to the material locations. I'm gonna scan again. And I'm just gonna casually look in this direction for no apparent reason. There it is. These two, there are two locations there. Those are the sulfur locations. They will be brought in here and up and then back. And we're gonna look for the next coal location. That will be, well, just look, happen to look in this direction. You can actually see them down here. Boom, there are two, two there. So those will be the two coal. So the logical thing would be bring that one over to that one, build a platform and then bring the finished product back. But that would be too damn simple. So we're gonna be bringing all the materials back home because I want all my platforms to sort of be in that area. That area will be our base to unlock everything. It'll not be the base that, uh, oh, hold on, let's see. It'll not be sort of our final base. Well, you never know. It depends on how long we uh, there's an interest from me and from you in this uh, series, but so far, good interest. I'm gonna jump over to the coal. Yep, there. And we should be able to get all the way down there just to see what is going on at this location. Boop, boop, boop. Yeah, we're gonna do some slashing here. So I'm gonna need to get it up there. I'm not gonna get it all the way up. I'm gonna get it sort of maybe at this location and then bring it up again. All right, I have a lot of uh, fighting going on here. Turn on the flashlight. Doot. Oh, hello. Oh, they are charging in. That's very sloppy of me. Oops. 
Especially if you run parallel. And they're not gonna get you. What? There's gotta be one left. There it is. Alright. Took a bit of damage, but nothing nothing serious. And this is a normal, so that's gonna be 120 with a with a Mark II minor. And this is gonna be also normal. So two times one hundred and twenty, that should be good. And basically from here, what I want to do now is I want to build an outpost. Oh, there's going to be like gigantic infrastructure, like several hours of infrastructure built here. Because I need to get from here all the way out and then build my locations here. I also believe that this is kind of really close to the entrance. Oh, we got the memory search. Oh, yeah, that is nice. That's exactly what we want. Boom. Here, here, we have the map. Has been, unlocked. has been unlocked, absolutely. I'm just looking a bit ahead here, or a bit around here, because I'm pretty sure that this is kind of the area for the amazingly awful spider cave. Oh, there's more coal. Ah, another normal. Nice. I can't remember where it is. Maybe I can jump up here. Why am I even doing this? Uh, this is... Oh, I'm having a parachute on. That's why I'm just... I suck at jumping. There. Uh, we can grab a few of these. I'm just really thinking that... I'm really believing that it's somewhere around here. I'm also just... Also thinking that this is... Oh, no, 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 no. Why does it... Well. Definitely more. I hear you. Ah, spiders. They're not even spiders. They only have four legs, so definitely not spiders. Uh, there it is. This is the most horrible place in the game. <laughs> Pretty much. It's it's awesome, but uh, yeah, 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 yeah. It, it, I love this part. This is a this is why you can't have. You can't have a procedurally generated map because this thing is terrifying and it's well crafted and it's insane and it's super cool and all those things. It's it's that perfect combination of horror and and just awesome at the same time. All right, so what I need to do is I need to find my way to the sulfur. Oh, ooh, bacon. I like bacon. There we go. All right, well, uh, that's going to be pretty far away. So, let me think how we're going to do that. Yeah, I'm just going to run over to the sulfur and we can take a look at it from there. Ah! Ah! That's a big one! Okay. Ah, okay. Whew. Um... Uh, yeah, okay. So, I didn't get to do anything, anything else. I am just gonna go. Um, yeah, we're we're gonna run, we're gonna run there. I know that there's an up here. We're gonna go. Uh, we're gonna go there together because that that's that, there's definitely things to explore here. I guess I have to go this way. This is, by the way, a great place to make a coal power plant because there's water here, there's coal there. So this is definitely the best place to do that if you are sort of in this area. I chose the other place because it was closer, but this is definitely better. Because it's easier to get to. And there's a bit of flat ground here where there's easy to put a coal power plant. So, you know. Uh, don't play with the chainsaw in the water. I will... Can I eat that? I can take some asthma spray while I'm in the water. Good. Good. And... Hmm. Where is it? Go here. All right, so we are now heading up. This one is the path upwards. Also, this is also drivable. So if you are exploring with the vehicle, this is kind of the only way up and down from here. Oh, you know what? I think we'll just... Ow. This one. 
I really prefer against these just absolute brute force run at them. They will turn around to get more distance and you can just hack away of them as they run away. So that's a good thing. We are going to scan for the sulfur. So we also get a bit of exploration here. That's nice. I am kind of generally cutting out the exploration part because it's just very lengthy. But I feel that it's important to for us to get a sense of of the world around us. And but that's uh we gotta get here. This the sulfur is down here. Yes, there might be a few things. Uh, oops. Bacon. There'll definitely be something here. Oh yeah, I see you. Up. Uh, run to the side. Nope. Where are you? Mm, run. Come on. One more. And that's it. Oh, no. Ow, that was a quick run. There you go. Okay, four. That seems like the normal number for two. Right, so what do we have here? Impure, that's only going to be 60 with a Mark two, And normal, that's going to be 120 with a Mark one. So now we are going to hook up this one, hook up the other one, hook up the two coal, get it all the way back. That's going to be a massive and honestly a bit boring, uh, boring thing to do. So I will spare you for that and we'll just have a look at it when it is done. Here we are back at the coal and you can see there is a new infrastructure built. That is a massive build that we've done, we've undertaken here. We have uh, the two Mark II miners. Why did I choose to do this at night time? Well, it'll be daytime by the time we get back. So we are going to run back here. This is Mark III belt. So we are getting, actually these are not overclocked. So we're only getting 240 per second minute inbound. And I will go up here. Okay, this is not a safe place. If I take this one, by the way, I'll get thrown directly off here. But you know, that's the, quirks of it. So what I have here is I have oops, this uh, this belt, Mark III belt going all the way out and over there. So let's uh, let's jump down here. Oh no, that's not what I wanted. Yep, tubes up. Oh, tubes are just tubes. Tubes being tubes. Doing tube stuff. Alright, let me go up here and did not kill myself as I fly out the platform and then you just as you go up closer, then you start slowing down. You can see it slow down. Slow down. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no. Oh, oh. Okay, this is embarrassing. All right, one more time. Last try. Otherwise, I take the ladder. I promise. If I fail this one, I'm taking the ladder up. Ah. Okay, let's hit the right on this one. And then this is just going back. We're heading back towards the original coal facility the first coal we use that that coal we use for the steel production now we're heading back here you can see there's an next an extra tube here that tube is uh, heading now we're going up the tube is just to get us back up to this platform and then we can go even further up and we are now here so at this location you can see down there that we have the sulfur we're now bringing coal in on two lines next to each other like that as you can see and it is time for us to jump into the next one this is a very long one but down here you can see the sulfur and that's going to provide 180 sulfur per minute i can easily scale it up if i want to by just putting some more uh, modules in but i don't here we have sulfur coming in boom and that goes on top of the what was the other one uh on top of the iron yes so on top of this, we come all the way back here and it's quite a ride. We can see over here the distance. We have our sp uh, space elevator and the cantina up here. I, I can't believe I still haven't taken that one, but you know, I'll take it eventually. And we have our steel plant over there shimmering at night and it is time for us to start building the new facility. So new facility is going to look, so I've done here and I've also made a location so that we are ready to actually start designing i think that's a good thing so that we can we can skip all that boring uh, infrastructure thing and then get straight into the cool design stuff we want 
So this design is going to be a bit complicated. We are going to get on this side, we're going to get sulfur in. On this side, we're going to get coal in. Those are the things we need. Now let's look at the recipes because we actually do have a few different recipes that we can use. Uh, that will be here. And let's look at the first one. So, uh, so let's look at the recipe, what we want to make. We want to make gunpowder black powder so we can do black powder here black powder is going to be one coal and two sulfur giving us one black powder that is a one to one from coal to black powder and a two to one for sulfur here but there's an alternate recipe the one we unlocked earlier this use compacted coal and the, in this case, one compacted coal, you can see that is five coal plus five sulfur gives five compacted coal at a pretty good rate of 25 per minute. So each compacted coal is actually corresponding to one coal and one sulfur. So basically what we need here is three sulfur, two from this, one from this, plus one coal. So three sulfur plus one coal gives us four black powder. That is vastly superior. So this is definitely the one we want. And that means we also need to make the compacted coal. The compacted coal is a recipe we get from, uh, from yeah, uh, exploration from a hard drive. So let's get that one. Make sure you get that one. And I'm going to go back to this one, the one that's closest, and take a look at the compacted coal build, that one. So those are the two things we need. And that means this one is going to take coal inbound and sulfur inbound. Now this is gonna make 25 per minute outbound, but what about this one? How much would 25 actually support? Since this is only gonna use 3.75, then it, I, one of these will actually support 6.667 uh, of these builds. So I think this simple build is just gonna be one of these, six of those, done. And that seems kind of silly with the am massive amount of materials we get in. But really, if we have six of these running, then we're going to get 90 black powder per minute. That's a lot. That's a lot, a lot. And why do we still have sort of weird things in our inventory? Oh, yeah, it's just from exploration runs. And there. Good. So... Now we need to figure out. So that means the first thing we have to do is make sure that when the sulfur comes in it will have to be split here yes into going to this build the the finished product of the black powder and it needs to go into this line where it will build the compacted coal but i actually wanted to go up because I needed two places, so I wanted to make sure that it is up. And then uh, what I need to make sure is that I built... I'm going to leave some space here. So I'm going to leave this empty, and I'm going to leave this empty, and then I'm going to build it at this location. So something like this. I'll build that one. Yeah, I don't know if that's a good, reasonable location to make it. <sighs> uh it might be or it might not be no it's actually not because this one will go over here there there and there but i also have the coal coming in here coal will only need to go in to this location so let me just indicate that one Mark three belt, this will go inbound. Oh, right. That'll be inbound to there. All right, so. Coal will go in there. And sulfur will go up there. Yes. Now, what I need to do is then make sure that this one can go over and down. Because I, even though I could just suffice with one, I'm actually gonna build two. Because I know that I'm going to use compacted coal for something else later. <clears throat> Turbo fuel, I imagine. Or maybe even just for fueling. Hmm. It is good for fueling. Okay, but the issue at hand is that if I build this one here, then I get a Mark 1 belt here. And then I have to build that one. So as much as I like this, 
I don't think that's the right place to build it. I'm going to get this one. This is just my alignment one. I'm going to shift it by one and I think two. So we take this out and I build it middle and until I get a blue line there on the side or a teal line or whatever. Now. It was only one tile. There. That one should be good. And I will take ah, that sweet clicking sound. Sweet. This is going to make, come on, you're making alternate call. Great. And I'm going to leave just a one space between them. So I'm going to make it here. Yep, that's going to be perfect. This one is going to be huh? that one or the other one. There, there, and there. Take the lower two down. Like that. And, oops, they get stuck there. That's also going to be a Mark 1 belt. Do I even have that? No, I don't. This is the part that gets a bit, a bit hard to follow, I know. Coal goes in, sulfur goes in. So now we have 50, if I set the recipe here, compacted coal, we are now producing 50 compacted coal out of these two. And I know that I only actually need to have 25 or 24 even. 22.5 I think it is. So at this point I am just going to make this is a merger going this way and this one as well and inbound I'll make it into oh no I'll make it into a level 2 belt and then go back to a level 1 belt there and from here that one is just for measuring. All right, so that's the first thing we, de we need to do. So from here, I can take, I need my Mark II belt, that one. That will go out on the same line. So this, this foundation will be shared between the sulfur and the compacted coal. So I need to do this one. Um, not sure this is actually how I want to do it. But we'll do it this way for now. Oh, we come the moth. And you're going to go out because we need to make a new design. So one of the things that I do in this case is I bring this all the way back because that allows me to extend this further down if I want to. If I made them sort of direct or something like that, then I wouldn't have the opportunity to, to expand it. And I do feel that it's important for me to be able to expand. Now then I need to get the stuff out here. I need to figure out um, hmm. so it's in the middle tile. I think I'll put it here. Yes. So splitters. I would like the one on the top to be the closest to the assembler. I just think that's better. Because that means I can take this one and put it in. Yes. So this will be the assembler working on. Uh, okay, Legit. I can walk a bit back, but not too much. Hold on, I don't want to build it there. I want to build it next to the other one. They should be aligned. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, splitter. That one and split up here. One, two, three. I don't think this works, by the way. Like, I don't think I can build this one first because it'll be, it won't snap to this. Actually, that looks perfect. I don't know if it snaps, but it was the perfect distance. Great. And that's inbound. So we got the two inbounds we need for this. And that means on... Nope. Yep. From this one. Uh, 
that's 90 degree turns crisp as ever and we're going to build it up here one two and then i'm going to get that's going to be a mark three belt there and this one will be our fine black powder unfortunately not the noblesque but fine black powder getting in <clears throat> okay so we just need to continue this one let's see how big it is and it'll have to be like that yes do you really want to make them this far apart i don't think so this one can be made successfully with half a tile apart so this one is placed in the middle of a tile, this one's placed on the edge of a tile, this one's placed in the middle of the tile, and on the edge, and on the middle. Did that? No, I think I pushed it one too far in. How's that? One, two, three, four, five, and six fits really well with our 12 by 12 design and what I want to build at this location is actually some storage facility that storage facility is going to be I'll build a big one because why not that one seems to be not in the middle <clears throat> there yes and on top of that, I will actually get, this one will continue. No, that's not it. Uh, this one will continue do, 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 all the way in here. And then I'm going to need one more of these. I'll get that sort of aligned with this. Can I do that? Yes. Okay, so this is okay, but as soon as I move it in here, Let's see that aligns both ways good so this one will be for the compacted coal that we'll maybe use later so what i need to do as well is that when i get all of this outbound that's going to be outbound on splitters or that one here i guess that's a pretty decent this is too close but that's okay and then I will get it to this location. So it's going to be a Mark II belt because it's coming in at 90. So this is, uh, uh, let's see, that will go into the box where I want it. But I've now put a splitter here because I think I also want to build like just a little, I don't know, it feels like a bit like a hack, but I'm actually going to do this. Let's see. Because uh, I want to have an automated way of building Nobilis. So it's Nobilis take forever to build. So I really want to make sure that I can get some kind of automation for it. Does that seem right? That seems right. Yep. <clears throat> what am I, what I want to do? I just want to make a single one to make Nobilisks like that. And there's a blue line in the other place. And I am going to get... I think this is it. One, two. And this one will make... Oh, I can't really make Nobelisks. I can't make it yet. But that's okay. We can do this. And that's probably not even going to be correct. Actually, I think that... I only need this to be a level one. And then on the other side, I will build out here there all right so what I'm gonna do now is uh, just hook up the rest of it so that everything is uh, ready to go there's just a few belts here and there missing some uh, set up some recipes set up some some uh, power poles and once it's done we are ready to hook this up and I think we're ready to hook this up this is uh, one of my sort of classical patterns with this going up here Although I would have liked to sort of alternate them in a way. So just a summary of what we have. We have 
sulfur coming in here, coal coming in here, sulfur and coal mixes in to become compact. It goes out at a rate of 50 per minute, it goes in here, gets out in this lane, gets split into all of these, and any residual goes in here for a box. And uh, I'm producing 50, but I'm consuming 22.5 or something to that effect, like very low. And what we have here is each of these six are producing 15 fine black powder per minute. It goes into the splitter, gets put into a box, and also gets put in here, where it will eventually make nobelisks, but only make nobelisks after we have actually the whole thing activated. So what we need to do now is activate it. We are going to do that by going over here and finding... Oh, I didn't even take damage. Nice. And there. That one. So we are going to find a way to do this. I think that the best way is to say, I'm bringing it in at the level it's at until here. Did that make any sense? So I'm going to keep it at this level. Looks good. And this, that was the coal, and now the sulfur comes in here. And I'll send the coal down there, and I'll send that one up. So basically it comes in at this rate here in the middle, and then some goes up, some goes down. And we're going to go back to our tower just to watch the whole thing activate. And you can see the sulfur gets split. At this location, half goes in here, and half goes the other way and just fills in. And this coal is working. Yeah, these two are green. They have green lights on top. That's great. I love the fact that I have the green lights on top. It's so nice to see. Could we do that? Uh, zoom, 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 zoom. Yes, so we can see that we are getting the compacted coal. This is compacted coal, and that's just regular coal. So apparently it's more compact. That's the difference there. And it's going in here. This looks really nice and it will, will eventually start working. You can see how slow it's, it, it goes in. Also, it produces like 50 per minute. So it's not really going to be super fast. And I know that some people go like, you could go from that one to that one. Yeah, I know. But it's also like conceptually that these two lanes come in from the side. I don't know. It's, it's the small things that uh, just the small quirks we have in our designs. But the idea is that if I ever wanted to make it bigger, I could just extend it outwards, but I don't imagine that would be something I'd want. So this, uh, we are going to run over to the other side just to see if we are ever going to get something outbound. That would be good. Okay, on. Yeah. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, yes, there we go. We got some fine black powder. Looking good. And I will just wait for this one to fill up into this one, uh, into here. I'm going to build a MAM just for our construction there. And go to the sulfur. We've done some of the things here, just some the temporary things. And what we need now is building the nobelisks. So we need 100 of that. And I also need this one. So uh, what I'm going to do in uh, while waiting for the 100 to accrue, it's going to take a couple of minutes. Then I am going to grab some of the encased industrial beams, some cables. It's always cables. Plus make five of those things so I can get the Nobilis detonator and we can start blowing things up left and right. And we've now done a little exploration run. What I am most interested in is down here, sulfur. We are going to research this one. It takes three minutes. Mm, that's the way it is. That one though is going to be put in here, I'm going to put all of this in here, and at this location, I will... Why did I build the detonator first? Ah, I should have built the other one first. No! Ah, well. Oh, well. Yeah. Okay, we're going to wait for the detonator, and then we're going to take some of the... Nobelisks we have built there, and that will go in here as well. Now the research is complete, and we will start on the next one immediately start the next one there and <laughs> obviously i need to get that one one of these in here into here and start the sulfur boom oh that's three seconds oh <clears throat> yeah definitely should have done that first uh what about these ones yeah they also need more of this and it's also three minutes great all right but the most important thing here 
I can now make it this into an obelisk. I will also, because I feel like I kind of wasted a bit of time here, I'll do that one and just mark it up at 200%. I don't like having 250% for some reason, but let's make it 200. That means I make six obelisks per minute. That is a lot of explosives we can, we can get out. Uh, so I will go in here and I'll get some of these, which will be used for the research. What do we want the most? A, a hand slot or a some inventory? Inventory slots is always better. I mean, the hand slots, we don't really need much. What we do need is uh, to make a... Take that out. And we want to make an equipment workshop. That, put it this way. And it should be now possible for you to make a detonator. Nobody's detonator. Why not? Oh yeah, I made five of those. Uh, let's see. Can I make five? Yep, I can. I have prepared that. So we make five optic scanners or noise generators, as I tend to call them. And that should get us up here. Once that's done, we can now make one of these. And that allows us to detonate things. That is exceptional. And actually, let's see. I can also make a few nobelisks here just to get the first ones up and running while we wait for the other ones. The only one, other one, the other one only craft ten of six per minute, even at uh, the current rate. So, getting a few more here is probably a good idea. Let's see. So, what about this one? Has it built anything yet? Yeah, it's built a few. It's built a few. That's okay. Uh, eight. <laughs> Eight. So I have 18, 18 things that can, I can blow up right now. And we'd like to get a few more things. But let's uh, equip. We will barely be using this anymore. There we go. This is excellent. And I will now just hit reload whenever I want. Um, you know, I'm going to build a few more. Because, you know, it's kind of obvious that we want to blow things up. Just a few, few more things we need to blow up. So let's get that one here. And let's see. Nobelisks. Yeah, I don't have that. So I'm going to need one full stack of that to get that operational. All right, let's get, let's build this. There. That should be enough for us to start exploding things. I will, however, take one more of these. Boop. And I'll do that because the mem will actually request it soon i'll take eight more and it is time for us to blow things up there are certain things that i absolutely want to blow up and that is back at our at our hub location so we'll go back to the hub location Just jump oops that's not what i wanted doesn't matter we'll uh, we'll go this way instead wouldn't make much of a difference there and yeah, this corner... Oh! Oh, see, the mem is complete. And in here, yeah, that's not the best best thing. It will definitely need to get that sorted. And here, the mem is complete. And the last sulfur that we can do is going to be that one. Three minutes more. Perfect. So, here. Down here. These are the most annoying things. Reloading it. And throw. Eh. Yay! Ah, oh, man, the joy of doing this. That one. And... That one. Yay! Super awesome. The batteries are, by the way, completely full. There was a... I said that these are exactly the same. They're not. This is measuring for the specific one I'm looking at. This is measuring for the entire network. So, big difference. Ow, 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 ow. Oh, you're attacking your vengeance on me? You bastard. I'll get you for that. Ha! Serves you right. Let's get... Oh, hello there. Doesn't blow up berries. So, that's pretty, uh, pretty durable berries. No? Pretty durable bears. And we know we have more of these. We know we have more. We want to have more. We want to have more things to blow up. That can't be it, right? That can't be it. That that's there's gotta be a few more of these annoying things. No? Really? Hmm. I'm disappointed. I wanted to blow up more, some more stuff. Uh we can blow up all sorts of other things as well if we really feel like it. 
Uh, what could... Oh, see, there. There's some more. There's some more things to blow up over at... Ooh. What is that? How did I not see this? Uh, that's definitely not a place we can go anytime soon because... Oh, okay. Good thing that didn't work. See, these ones, unfortunately, cannot be blown up. It's a bit of a shame. I do hear some... Some chatter somewhere. Hmm. Probably just some fighters. And uh, But up here... And that's how you do that. That is actually super interesting that I have this one so close to my base. I have not... I didn't notice that. I don't think even remember actually seeing that before. So that's going to be interesting when we get the next suit but we have uh, blown things up and uh, this will just be super handy for let's say annoying trees for example like that one not an annoying tree anymore just an x tree we can also do we can do that one ah not quite dead we're hunting with explosives that's the only All right, all right, I'm gonna get it. <laughs> it seems like a good move. Seems like a good move. Ah, we're not there yet. I don't like these things. Oh, okay, that did not hit it. Just blowing up my entire factory. Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, you oh, don't get close to me. You're full of explosives. How many do we need? Yeah, we are hunting with explosive. I don't know. You're, you're, you're kind of. It doesn't really bite, does it? Ah oh, well. Ah, we got it. Perfect. Right. Go away. I hate those damn things. All right. Now, how do I think the best way to get rid of a corpse is to blow it up? I think I saw a video back in the olden days about blowing up a whale corpse. Anyway, we have a mission accomplished. We have managed to successfully blow up both the flora and the fauna. So we just need a fungus to blow up. Then we're all uh, have the trifecta. There we go. We blew up the corpse. It works. All right. So the next thing we want to do is unlock tier five and six with our automated handcrafting situation we set up last time because now it's completed. And then we can get on with the oil and other different things. So hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you have this episode had sufficient amount of booms for you. I'll get, see you guys in the next episode. I hope you enjoyed it. You know where the like button is. You know where the, uh, the comment section is. And you know the subscribe. It's not a button. It's a subscribe toggle. Because I want you to toggle on the subscription. See you guys next time. Until then, take care. And stay explosive.